A lot of Christians out there like to sugarcoat God's message and not give you the full story. They tell you you can keep living in sin, you can keep doing everything that you're doing and still go to heaven. Sorry to ruin the fun that you were having, but you need to know this. So in Ephesians 4 verse 17, it says, With the Lord's authority, I say this, Live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives them because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against them. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasures and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. But that isn't what you learned about Christ. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitude. Put on your new nature created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. And I'm going to go down to verse 30. It says, and do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Getting to God is more than just believing. We got to be living for God. Y'all, I'm telling you this because I would hate to see you down there with the devil. He's telling you you can keep living in sin. You cannot keep living in sin. You cannot keep living a sinful lifestyle. You may not want to hear that right now, but I promise you, you would thank me later when I see you in heaven. 